It is important for everyone to understand a new bill that is being presented to the Senate, which passed through the House unanimously without a hearing. The bill is S-386, Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act. To begin, I want to tell you about how we got to where we are. Currently, just with the H-1B visa, over 70% of the workers entering into the country on an H-1B visa are from one country. That country is India. This has been going on for over 30 years. So when we talk about S-386, keep in mind that over 30 years, there has been 60 of 85,000 workers out of the 85,000 workers on H-1B visas coming in from one country, which is India. So S-386 is a bill regarding employment-based green cards. We have 140,000 green cards sent every year to employment-based immigrants. What we have right now is a per-country cap basis. Most countries have zero weight. Chinese have about a six-year weight. But the Indians have a 49-year weight with 600,000 of them in the backlog. This is because, like I told you before, they are getting over 70% of H-1B visa, and that's ignoring all of the other visas and the majority of the Indians and the one country receiving those visas as well. So as a solution to this 49-year wait of Indians, they have come up with S-386, which takes off the per-country cap and says first come, first serve. The result of that is basically the Indians will receive all of employment-based green cards for multiple years, and basically they will dominate it, if not have complete control over it, forever. Because when we continue to allow one country, well, not allow, but we are bringing intentionally one country in by the majority, then those majority will also receive the green cards. This is not the solution to the problem. First of all, it doesn't fix the cause of the problem. It doesn't evaluate why we have the cause of the problem and fix it, but it also is not a solution to the problem. Number one, it ends diversity in America. There are other countries. We want, we want diversity in America. We want to bring people from all over the world. And if we take away the green card of the, um, access to people from all over the world, we are going to deter them from coming. For high-skilled or special-skilled workers, if they are coming here with the anticipation or expectation or hope to be able to receive a green card so they can live here forever, they're not going to come anymore because they are going to understand that they are not going to be able to get a green card on this first-come, first-served basis with the domination being one other country. So we are going to not only end diversity in America, but we also are going to deter really high-skilled to come in to this country who may have wanted to come in prior to this S-386 bill. The other thing is it really facilitates and enables a business model that not only hurts America but Americans. It is a business model that is allowed by the American immigration system and that our billionaire CEOs and our investors use to force our American workers to train uh, foreigners who come in on visas, and then are fi the American workers are fired. Uh, and so what we want is a, we want a system, an entire immigration system, that fixes these problems, that doesn't enable these problems. And so S-386 is just piling on another bill, um, another policy, another act that is going to hurt America and Americans and not fix the problem. Of course, I understand that there is a problem, that people should not have to wait 49 years, or, and there shouldn't be 600,000 people waiting uh, for a green card. But this is just not the solution to that problem. We need to work on a better solution. So I, it's important that people understand the bill and that they call their congressmen and they call their senators and they call the White House and say, this is not the bill 
to fix this problem. So please contact your senators and say no to S-386. Thank you.